Hello, answers in Genesis seeks to give glory and honor to God as creator and to affirm the truth of the biblical record of the real origin and history of the world and mankind. Part of this real history is the bad news that the rebellion of the first man, Adam against God, command brought death, suffering, and separation from God into this world. We see the results all around us. All of Adam's descendants are sinful from conception. Psalm 15.5 and have themselves entered into this rebellion sin. They therefore cannot live with a holy God but are condemned to separation from God. The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 and that all are therefore subject to everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Second Thessalonians 1 9. But the good news is that God has done something about it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Jesus Christ, the Creator, though totally sinless, suffered on behalf of mankind. The penalty of mankind's sin, which is death, and separation from God. He did this to satisfy the righteous demands of the holiness and justice of God, his Father. Jesus was the perfect sacrifice. He died on the cross, but on the third day he rose again, conquering death, so that all who truly believe in him repent of their sin and trust in him, rather than their own merit are able to come back to God and live for eternity with their Creator. Therefore, he who believes on Him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. John 3.18 what a wonderful Savior, and what a wonderful salvation in Christ our Lord. Thank you.